Hello, welcome back to my channel. I may sound a little bit strange, stranger than usual, and that's because, you know, last night when I went to bed, I was absolutely gung ho. Well, I was exhausted, but I was gung ho about making this video, and then I woke up this morning with sore throat and a cold, so yay me. <laughs> and of course, I also forgot to charge my camera, because of course I did. Did you know that there is actually a season of The Witch? I didn't. Beginning of this year, I saw a YouTube series, which is not unusual, playing or using that song, Season of the Wits, that I'm not even gonna try and sing because it's not happening. So of course I looked it up. I want to know, like, is that a thing? And yes, it is. And in case you didn't know, it's August September, November and October. And that's right up my alley. So I decided earlier this year, and I'm sticking to it, to make a video every month featuring a book about witches. That's in one way or another features witches. And the one that I'm starting with is The Lighthouse Witches by CJ Cook. Because first off, Lighthouse. Second off, which is third Scotland. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the name of the island. That is a no-no, that is not happening. It's three daughters, a secluded island and secrets on earth. So we are essentially following three timelines and basically four narrators, although one of them at the beginning is through basically a grimoire or kind of like a well he basically wrote like a diary like life events of the key events that trigger the entire things that happen in this story Th i don't know what i was expecting when i started reading this book i did not expect what happened i'm like it's even better so we are following mother liv in 1998 she has three daughters the oldest is Safi, age 15. Then we have Luna, age 9, and Clover, who is 7 years old. They are moving to this island of the, of, of, of the coast of Scotland and um, finding out just what exactly has been happening with his family to begin with. Like Liv has had experience. <laughs> like her first, hus first husband died um, when her, her oldest daughter Safi was, what, maybe a year or two years old? Can't remember off the top of my head what he died of. Then she meets another man called Sean, who became the father of her two other daughters. And he died in a tragic car accident. And Safi kind of blames her mother for both not being allowed to see her stepfather dying in the hospital from a Ter terrible car accident. She blames her mother for everything. She is a horrendous 15 year old. Like the worst possible version of a teenage girl. And I initially thought that Safi was going to be the villain. So we also get Safi's point of view in 1998. Then we get male daughter Luna's point of view in 2021. Because the things that happen leave Luna the last remaining survivor of her family after something unknown happened that takes away her mother and two sisters. And ever, all, everything that happens in this story is tied back to these lighthouse witches and the events of, I believe it was 1667, when 12 women on the island were accused of being witches. It's in the middle of the witch craze. And these women are murdered by their community basically by the laws of the time but that was a murder but the thing is they cast a curse upon the island and this entire inhabitants and this curse i thought it was one thing but it turned out to be way more way more insidious and way cooler way more cruel but way cooler because it doesn't, it didn't pan out the way that I thought it would. Because at the beginning of the story, they make quite a few mention of Iceland. Iceland features 
a little bit, like in a mansion, um, like the girl's great great grandmother apparently came from Iceland. No, wait, that's that was Amy and Jenny from sixty six seven. Their ancestors came from Iceland, and basically Iceland is this root of magic. I want to say because they are using runes, and I really really thought that Safi was gonna be like. You know, using magic to curse her mother and maybe bring her stepfather back to life and it was going to be like that. No. It was better. You know, for a moment, I did not like Safi at all in the beginning. She was a wonderful, horrible teenager. But the things that she goes through throughout the story is just is heartbreaking. It feels terrifyingly real. It has nothing to do with magic. It has everything to do with this minor spoiler. A 19 year old boy on the island who is dating another 15 year old girl who he has been dating since he was 11 and he was 15. But yeah, I'm not really sure how much I want to talk, you know, spoilerific this story because I don't want to spoil it. It's just, I really like the plot, I like the characters, it felt a little bit too much, but I still felt that every single thread, plotline, storyline, I felt that they tied in. It's extremely bizarre, but it manages to be believable. So for me personally, this book was a solid four stars. Like it wasn't amazing to me. Mind you, five stars for me, I try to keep them rare because five stars is just like peak but this is absolutely a solid four it is wonderful i love the plot i love the atmosphere i love the car characters <sighs> a little egotistical but i really love dimension of iceland it literally sent me into my book collection trying to remember where i put my futhar books and my other books on runes found two of them but not the one i was looking for Still don't know where it is. You know, I'm not that much of a reader that I can actually recommend what books to read. Um, based on this, it is more contemporary. It's It felt very 90s. Very 90s. And very, you know, 2021. That's about as much as I have the energy to do right now. Hopefully, this video helps you to make a decision if you want to read this book and it looks interesting. Like, I tapped every... You know, every time that is either, um, you know, the beginning ending, and then I tap Liv and Safi and Luna. It's really nice. So if you're interested in the book, pick it up, read it. Tell me what you think, because I would really love to see if anyone else has read it and what if your opinion is different. Please tell me. That would be oh, that would be so awesome. But yeah, I plan to read another book for September and I think that's going to be the first book of the Bone Witch Saga trilogy. So hopefully see you then. Until then, take care. Bless bless.